Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jay Barino, and this is StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. We're heading into Mission 2 of the prologue campaign, Whispers of Oblivion. Just finished Mission 1. Ah, that spooked me. My forces have secured a location near the temple grounds, and we are ready to move against the Taldarim. This should prove to be a truly glorious battle, brother. All right, so it's us v. Taldarim. We tracked down the world where Amon was resurrected. I'm not sure if it's this world necessarily, but it's in this area of the, the sector. Here we go. First mission was actually pretty fun. And uh, again, I am playing on hard. I consider doing brutal, but I'm going to keep it consistent now across hard. I think I probably could have done that last mission on brutal. A lot of it with the brutal campaigns is knowing at least slightly what to expect. The servers of Atreus is devoid of Vespian geyser. Spend your Vespian gas carefully. Oh, shit. All right, so lots of zealots, I say. Okay, maybe not against the Colossi. Temple of Eris. Within those ancient walls lies our last hope. Taldarim, seal the temple. None enter until my work is done. Any who defies my order will answer to their High Lord with blood. The Taldarim High Lord is here. This surely bodes ill. Our difficulties do not end there, Zeratul. This world is in its death throes. The Vespin reserves beneath the surface are turbulent. The planet is in a state of constant eruption. These fissures are the last remaining source of Vespin. We will have to brave them to raise our army. I pray this temple of yours is worth it. Ooh, Void Rays. Let's go Void Rays! Alright. So, let's just go ahead and hotkey our Nexus like usual, make warp gates. I like that there isn't really much re- okay. I was about to say I like that there isn't much research to do. There are normal upgrades, though. Breach, temple entrance. There's normal plus one upgrades, but beyond that, uh, not really. Alright, so there's not gonna be any geysers. The planet's core pressure is rising. This counter will keep you aware of the current seismic pressure. Be prepared to move out. I expect a fissure will erupt shortly. So we have to find where the fissure is and take the Vespine, basically. So there's probably going to be one right here. We could probably just send the Void Ray in, huh? Oh, hey, it doesn't have the, uh, the usable ability. It just still has the prismatic alignment. Interesting. Okay. And I really just want to get over there and get on top of that fissure as soon as possible. So this one has already exploded, so I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to take that one again. It'll probably, like, move across the map, forcing me to, be, to like, move across the map slowly and take control of it. So, of course, I'm going to do a crap ton of Void Rays, but we're going to need gas to do it. Luckily, we have minerals. Question is, where the Taldrim going to attack? Probably up this ramp, so we can cover this with pylons. We'll get double pylons, too, to stop myself preemptively from getting supply blocked. Oh, wait. <laughs> I already am. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, I might be able to go down there and murder those groups of, of units, but there's no reason to rush. The seismic, the seismic pressure hasn't happened yet. Or has it? Okay, Void Ray, focus your, your efforts elsewhere. You move away, Zealot. There's no reason for you to die. Okay, well, we got this first one. And how do we get to the second one? Just, like, down in this direction, it looks like. We'll get some more Zealots. Zealots just so good early tier units, and we don't really need to use gas to get them. I will throw down my Stargate now, so that once I get more Vespian, I can start making more Void Rays. All right, looking good. Let's just uh, get in there. And uh, who's getting who's getting focused? Move away. Move away. All right, so we've uh, captured both of these. The question is, what happens if we don't take these areas as they're exploding? Like, what really is going to happen? Does does the Taldrim, like, take the gas and we don't get it? I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to need some cannons. Get some more zealots. A zealot, because I don't have any more warp gates. Let's get at least one more. The Dark God has no use for you. He will not suffer you to live. I have to say, I really like the voice acting so far. That Viking from the, the first mission was kind of a, a creepy weirdo, but the uh, the Taldarim voice acting has been really cool, and I, I think the, the Zeratul voice actor is the same person, but I actually quite like what he's done so far. It seems slightly different than what it used to be, and I like that a lot. All right, cool. 
Oh my god, charged and void ray is so good. You just gotta make sure you focus down armored things with them. All right, looking good. Again, Zealots doing a good job. We got some void rays coming out. I'll queue up a second one. And I am getting plus one. I think plus one is probably worth it uh, rather than getting a different, uh, another, an extra void ray, especially because we can back up with uh, more Zealots. Okay, we also need, definitely need more probes. Don't want to. Don't want to miss out on that. Also, a forge and more pylons. For sure, more pylons, please. So we're probably going to get attacked at both of these ramps. So we need pylon coverage at both of those. And throw one down up there. And actually, I realize now I probably don't need this one. I should have canceled this and gotten another sell it. Because we're going to... We need more units in general. Uh, I don't know where the next fissures are, but we probably just want to push out here pretty soon. Keep, uh... Just go ahead and keep using Chrono Boost on these. And really, it just it's going to come down to how crazy this mission gets later. I will get another Stalker. You have to be really ju judicial with your gas. So that I could save it up and get shields. I don't know if that's worth it. Okay. I am detecting another eruption. The skins on these uh, on the Taltarim are awesome, by the way. Uh, it's very hard for me to tell what's going on. Only death will wash away your sins. What are these, like, really crazy evangelicals from the Midwest now? I, no, I'm sorry. That was, that was in poor taste. I should say radicals. <laughs> but I'll still say from the Midwest. Okay, murder these guys, and we're going to take out this base. We can take this extra base, and uh, we really need to get over there to take... Uh, take those eruptions quickly. Alright, more probes. And by taking this base out, though, we're going to get an extra base. Oh my god, look at them. They're tagging with probes. Okay, so we we don't we don't have direct control over the fissures. So what are the consequences here? Also, what's behind those rock formations? I don't know. Get over there and attack. We have no... We have no gas. Oh no! Oh, not like this. Okay. Get down there and help. Oh, Lord. I'm going to lose, I think, many of my things here. Why are you... Okay, I was focusing down that, uh, that sentry, and I should not have been... I have a feeling I shouldn't have gone this way, uh, in retrospect. I probably should have gone a different way. Get on over here. Kill this cannon. Wow, those cannons look really cool. Okay, and they're warping in. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Just got to keep warping in zealots, I suppose, to make up for the lost time here. We have to get over there and get more gas so I can make more void rays. And unfortunately, I lost one already. But I took this base so I can go in uh, and grab that, though. At the same time, I haven't even fully saturated my first base. Alrighty, let's get down there. And see, the gas is still here. It's just you have to you have to get over there quickly to actually claim gas. Let's... um. Hotkey this, open these up, and make more zealots. You require my and let's get over here. Just destroy the, the warp prism quickly. Quickly, before they warp in more stuff. There we go. No problem. No problem, I say. So even though it looks like these things are doing more damage, actually, I don't think they are. They're only doing more to armored units, which is interesting. All right. Ooh, Archons. Let's back out. Let's, let's not attack into the cannons. Let's let them come to us. There we go. Now turn around. We're not doing more damage to this poor guy, but he's dead now. That's fine. Okay, get over here and destroy the warp prism again before they, they warp in more units. Quickly. Come on now. Okay, great. And uh, more void rays. Just use all of our gas for that. Make more zealots, which are helpful. Okay. I am detecting another eruption. Fissure locations have been marked. So I don't know if this is there's really as much of a rush as I think there is. Really, it's just um, saving up saving up enough to breach the temple entrance. So, Oh, those are scouts. Alright, lure these guys over here. Focus the scouts down. Of course the sentries are going to heal themselves. Alright. That's kind of annoying. Uh, blink up here. We can focus them down quick. Or we're going to lose a... We're going to lose a... Oh no, don't. Okay. Whew, I was afraid we are going to lose one thing to sentries. Alright, make more zealots. And... Make more probes. And let's get air armor level one. Let's get probes over on here mining. Add this to my town hall hotkey. Destroy these. I, I thought I told them to destroy this. I guess not. 
What are we going to get? Maybe we're going to get either units or we're going to get more Vespine, which would be cool. More Vespine. Ah, a natural Vespine vent. I will have the Void Seeker begin extracting it from orbit. Cool. Thanks, Zeratul. You know, what a pal. Okay, so they're attacking me at home now, so we got to get over there. I don't want to lose this base. I should throw down some cannons over here. And, of course, we are supply blocks. So let's throw this down. Okay, I have enough zealots where I'm able to contend with their zealots, which is great. Uh, and I'm going to get... I'm going to get ground weapons because I'm using a lot of zealots here. Their immortals kind of scare me, but if I have mostly zealots, uh, Protoss, unless they have Colossi, which I'm sure they will lay, uh, further into their base, um, they're not that well equipped to, to deal with me. That is a carrier. This is not where I want to be right now. I am, I'm not well enough equipped to take that on right now. So let's get some cannons. Get some more zealots. Actually, I just need more... Need more probes, actually, surprisingly. Uh, let's get more probes here, and then I'll transfer some. So you guys come on up here. And uh, note to self, don't push in there until you're ready. And I am not. So we just need more need more void rays. Getting a decent amount of gas now. Actually, I just need uh, minerals. And the only thing to really make use of that is to get High Templar, I suppose. That's the only unit that costs more gas. Well, centuries as well cost more gas than uh, minerals. Okay, well, going down and getting that other vent would also be helpful. And I'm going to throw down another Stargate because we're going Protoss Air for the most part here, plus Zealots, apparently. So throw that down, get more Zealots again. And I shouldn't be wasting my money on just Zealots, to be honest. Okay, I mean, those things are erupting all over the place. I'm detecting another eruption. Fissure locations have been marked. Yep, yep, yep. Fissures, fissures. Okay, back out now. Back out now. That was a this was a poor decision. Don't lose another void ray. Okay, I need more. I need more stuff. Actually, I can just send my ground units over there. As long as I killed the scout, my other stuff can just murder these other units. Get in there, zealots. Nice. I really zealots are more invaluable than they seem. I will. I will give them that because I, I I need my stalkers and void rays dealing damage without without them dying, and that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, scouts go down very easy to void rays because they are armored. Kill this. Another Vespine vent. Nowhere to go over a here. A second vent has been discovered. Seismic readings indicate one more remains. Okay, we're going to queue these up. I'm just going to go void rays. I really just want void rays uh, more than anything else. So that's pretty much what I'm exclusively making. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that at all. Yes, come over here. Come over here. No, oh, no, 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 no. And, of course, they're going to keep shooting while they come at me. All right, turn and kill this thing. You move. I mean, it's already charged up, so it's doing more damage to me. Oh, God. The Colossi. Oh. Oh. It didn't work out. Just get on get on these Colossi right away. Oh, my poor zealots. I mean, I can try to have them escape. I'll save one or two of them. I mean, the Colossi are gone, so that's kind of a big deal. All right, pick these up. We need more air units. Okay, so let's remake these, and we can make more zealots, of course. And I don't know why I'm rushing. I don't think I need to rush this mission at all. I just, I don't think there's much of a rush. It's just take your time and get that gas, and then you have to spend the gas judiciously rather than throwing it away. And I am kind of throwing it away. Okay, well, I could also get more warp gates. So let's warp gate, warp gate. And more zealots. Which I did get their plus one. Once I get more gas, I can... Uh, I need to just go and grab this guy. I'd love to take out this area where there was just a ton of shit so that I can get up to this eruption. Also, uh, getting that other vent will help a lot. I might just go ahead and go ahead and take out the... Uh, I might go ahead and go ahead. I might come down here and try to wipe... Oh, my God. Nope. Nope. Not yet. All right. Now turn and fight. Turn and fight. My zealots can take out care of the stalkers. Void ray is just so good. All right, get in there. Okay, we got to push in here. Void rays move up and take care of their void rays. And we just have to focus fire things with the void rays, and we'll be okay. Meanwhile, we have zealots that are helping. Let's just depower their ability to remake some of these units. U buildings just go down so fast. 
Alright, wipe this out, and we will make more zealots. <laughs> I've got the gas, or, or I've got the minerals, so we might as well. Let's go ahead and get another pylon to make it easier to warp in. Okay, and I've got a decent amount of stuff now. I mean, I will destroy these buildings, but it's not that necessary. More fissures. Just to confirm, we don't get more Vespian from these fissures, right? Okay, no. So this mission is deceptive. Again, it kind of seems like there should be urgency, but I don't really think there is urgency, interestingly enough. Uh, I could get a fleet beacon so that I could get carriers or something. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Fleet beacon. So let's um, let's keep going down here again. I'm going to wipe out Taldarine bases that are down in this area. Just lead with the Void Rays. They can't do shit against Void Rays when you have enough of them. They really just can't. Actually. Yes, let that Colossus go. Or let that Colossus die first. And... Do I have enough cannons? I got a lot of cannons, but I don't know if it's enough. Let's just get up here and get this Vespine. Again, Vespine is just so precious that it's hard to justify getting a Fleet Beacon. But I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, there's another eruption. I'm gonna, I gotta come back here and defend myself. I had really thought I would have kind of enough to do that, but I guess not. Void rays. Oh, I really hoped he would depower. I had really hoped he would depower. No, no, no! Stop shooting me! Disjoint your attack, dick! Alright, turn and fight. That was unfortunate. Probe, get up here. We gotta rebuild these cannons. Really just need to actually react when we get attacked. Haha, <laughs> react when we get attacked. I am just a master of rhymes. Let's get more zealots. And I kind of want to go and take out this uh, middle area too, and then I'll go and destroy the rocks. Those would be pretty uh, invaluable. Let's get more pylons at home because we're not getting attacked here, and then we'll also get more warp gates, and I can make those carriers now. Yeah, let's fucking do it, all right? Let's do it. Do we need... No, we don't need to upgrade their uh, ability to shoot interceptors out faster. Okay, you know what? In, in fact, I'm going to wait for the carriers. I'm going to come down in this direction. I'm going to open up this other vent with actually just the, the void rays is pretty much all I need, I think. Another thing I want to do with some extra cash is get... Oh, I did already. Well, I'll get ground armor. I'll just get all my upgrades. We can only get plus one. All right, void rays, float on down here. I feel like this is a good introduction to Protoss tech. Because, I mean, it's a it's a prologue. So I think, it's a, again, it's a good introduction. Let's see what's over here. Didn't I clear all this out already? I did. So hopefully we have enough. Oh, okay. Let's not... That was a carrier. I mean, I could probably wipe all this stuff with my Void Rays. But once I'm ready, I'll go and do it. Asshole Void Ray. Void... Or asshole Void Ray. Asshole uh, Immortals. Though Void Rays do very, very good burning through Immortal Shields because they... Their ticks of damage happen so frequently, which is awesome. All right, kill these. Man, those sentries. Uh, why would you have two sentries attacking the rocks when you have immortals right there? All right, let's kill these. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Talus. I mean, what are you doing after this mission? Want to hang out? We can go get a, you know, get get a beer together. She likes me. I know. All right, let's. Uh, we're just about ready to push out here once my carriers are done. Oh god. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh no. Oh, I've I've made a mistake. No void ray. No. Why? Why did I do that? I really thought I was safe. All right, let's uh, push out over here. Eruption imminent. Fissures are appearing here. Void rays, I need your help. Uh, with my carriers here though, I should be in better shape. The fact that they're attacking with uh, Colossi too is terrifying. So we do have consistent sources of Vespine. It seems like older ones are actually opening up, so we have to make more... You guessed it, zealots, to go pick these up. So that one's about to erupt. And then that one's about to erupt. So we just have to send these guys up. We'll pick this up. We got. I have a lot of cash. It's just I don't have enough Vespian to really justify making more stuff uh, that requires a lot of Vespian. But, ah, fuck it. Let's make more carriers. We've, we're waiting for the, the trickle of Vespian here. Come on. Give me that trickle. There we go. So we got more carriers. Okay, let's do it. This is my Air Force. We're going to push into these areas that were being such a bitch to me earlier. Take these out. It doesn't seem like the Tall Dream are rebuilding. That's refreshing. Very refreshing. Awesome. You know, this really gets me back in the mood for SC2. I'm, you know, I've been playing Insurrection and, you know, kind of on an SC1 kick in general. But, I, you know, SC2 
I really enjoy it. I think a lot of people just need to recognize it's a different game. They're different games. You can't expect them to be exactly the same, and I think they fulfill two very good niche roles. Niche, niche, however you prefer to say that. I say niche. Anyway, uh, I think that each game, you know, fulfills different roles, and I think that that's fine, and I really like both of them. And uh, StarCraft II is just different in the sense that it the units are different, and there's there's not so much of a, like, build, ever, build a giant force by turtling in your base. Like, this is a kill-everything map at its, at its core, right? But what we're really doing is we're forced to push out so that we can get Vespine Gas, which is kind of cool. I mean, really cool. I really like that. So let's get more... <laughs> you know what? Let's get a couple Tempests, too. You know what? Let's do it. We're going all in air here. Get some more Void Rays. We've got... Might as well use all my Vespine Gas. We have all the upgrades that we need. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of units, though, to really make something happen here. So the question is, how far can we really get across this map before we hit, like, a roadblock where we need way more stuff? Though I am pretty... I'm not close to maxed out, but I'm... I've got a lot of supply fleshed out right here. By destroying these buildings, we're going to stop them from being able to, to attack me as frequently, I think, because they're, they're building stuff out of these buildings, of course. What else would you do inside of a building? Building stuff. So... Take out the pylons, and then we can clean up the buildings later. Wipe all this stuff out. Here comes their next attack. Oh, don't... Oh, no, no, the carriers are getting stuck on those little spire things. We need you guys back here. Oh, oh, no. You can't attack air. Try to tilt upwards, immortal. That's great. Okay, well, we'll go and clean those guys up here in a second, though. I have a lot of uh, zealots at home that can probably defend myself. I'll make even more. Ha -ha. I would love to make some stalkers, too. Okay, so, yeah, get in there. We got a lot of cannons, too. I feel pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Let's head on up here and destroy this base. I'm just wiping the Tall Dream off this map so that I'm free to collect Vespian when I need it. Is that a Dark Archon? Or is that just a regular Archon? I can't actually click on enemy units. You know why? Because there's an option to be able to select... Enable enemy unit selection. Yes, okay. Archon, yeah. So because this is the beta client, uh, it resets all of your options to default because it's a different client than what all your other stuff is set to. So just keep that in mind. We have another base here. And uh, again, just by taking all this stuff out, it's going to stop them from... Oh, Tempest. It's going to stop them from being able to uh, attack me and flank me while I'm putting the, uh, the pressure on them. Nice. So I'm not saying that this mission seems like it was meant for, for Protoss Air, but it kind of seems like this mission was meant for Protoss Air. Will belong to the Chosen? Why did he get cut off? Was he like, oh, I'm sorry, the caster was talking. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to say, say something out loud. Oh, there's the supply block. Get on over here, Zealot. We're going to pick up more gas. And... Cool. Lay down pylons. I would say I need to expand, but frankly... I don't really have to. I have I have a base up here. I mean, yeah, sure. I'll do it. Let's just be diligent. Every time I've said we don't need to expand in other campaigns and didn't expand, uh, it's actually turned into a big problem. So <laughs> it's probably for the best. We are supply blocked. I, I'm liking the void rays. I'm liking the void rays. I'm just going to make more of those. Just a nice little diversified Protoss Air Force sans Phoenix, though. I don't really see a need for Phoenix on this map. I mean, they're good for chasing down Colossi, but Void Rays are better. So, I don't know. I, Phoenix against Protoss are good against other Phoenix. But other than that, I mean, you use them to lift up stuff. You don't really need it for anything else. Yes! Yes, Tempest! Our forces are closing upon the temple. We should gather our warriors and strike as one. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? Okay, here's their next attack. We're catching them out before they can put pressure on me. Unless this is some sort of, like, reactive force that they're supposed to use to try to kill me. Void Rays, kill the actual... Ca the actual carrier. How dare you, Mission, making me micro. Actually have to select killing a carrier. How dare you? Okay, well, let's clear out this base. Again, I'm just clearing out everything so that I'm, I'm giving myself space on this map. So I don't have to worry about too much. We have four carriers. I don't want to go overboard with them, though. I mean, they're cool. They don't have that ability. They're, they're old carriers. They're not the new multiplayer carriers that require me to... Uh... Oh, this was the the geyser that we had opened up. They, they're, they're, new, they're old carriers that don't require me to select where the, uh, the interceptors actually launch to, which I think is a really cool mechanic, and it's going to really bring carriers back. I mean, carriers, I think, are very good in their old fashion, but they were expensive and uh, requiring the fleet beacon and then not getting Tempests, because Tempests were more of a hard counter in my opinion. 
sort of made it so that uh, a lot of people just didn't build them. Okay, I mean, I probably have enough to do this. Uh, I'm taking longer on this mission than I need to, but who knows what they got. You don't know what's over here. They might have a huge amount of stuff. I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna get sneaky here. Let's go around the side. Take out the, the pylons. I mean... Hmm. I mean, yeah, StarCraft 2 is a, it's, its own unique game with cool gameplay, but the, the dialogue... I mean, it's Protoss. Protoss always had, like, for honor and goofy goofy uh, dialogue like that. It's just... It's so cheesy. Okay, so let's wipe out their production. I don't know why... I don't need to wipe out their production. I really just need to, to finish this. They don't really have much left that can attack air. I will stop them from being able to reinforce. Let's get in here. Kill pylons. See, now I'm slightly regretting not doing this on Brutal, but again, this is a... I, I wanted to just upload all these right now. I'm, I've said this a million times, but I'm traveling, and I just I really want to get all these videos out right away, and I really just wanted to play this, frankly. I am detecting another eruption. Visual locations have been marked. Okay, I don't care about that. Let's just win. Destroy the robotics bay. And kill Colossi. Oh my god, I, I love Tempest. I love all these units. They're so good. I like that they left the old carriers in the, in the Void Rays just for this campaign. Or it's possible that they just didn't have access to them before uh, they needed to create this campaign. Either way, it's cool. Protoss Air is just so neat. Storm the Temple! The way forward is clear at last. Go, Zeratul. Find the answers you seek within the temple. Our blades shall grant you the time you need. You have my thanks, Talus. And Taro Tassadar. Adun Toridas, brother. I enjoyed that mission quite a bit. Uh, is Battle.net back online? It is not. I assume the sheer amount of people trying to download the campaign right now uh, really forced Battle.net down, so I can't get any of these, ach these achievements. 3,500 Vespian, I think I probably came close to. Destroy all enemy nexuses, I definitely would have done that. And these are on normal difficulty, so I can't see how I wouldn't have been able to do that. Cool. All right, well, I had a good time. I feel like this mission was a good mix. So it's, it's interesting. I even brought up the whole difference between... Brood War and StarCraft 2, and this was an interesting mix, where it had an interesting StarCraft 2 mechanic that forced you out of your base and not just turtle up and make whatever you wanted and then push out. So it retained the option of make whatever you want in your base, but we are forcing you to push out and play a little scrappy to get this Vespian. So I think that is a really, really cool mix. It wasn't just flat out timed like the first mission. The first mission was very StarCraft 2, and the second mission is a really cool mix between StarCraft 2 and a slight harken back to StarCraft 1, where we had options. We could have made whatever we wanted, but there was the caveat of having to get out and get that Vespian. Cool. All right. I've enjoyed both these missions so far. It's so neat to get back into this. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.